Hello students, welcome back. This is Digital Painting. We're working on exercise seven, the um, difficult one. We're gonna start with the bevel, not the other one. So here's a, the first image I have, and we'll maybe add that to our video collection. The one we're gonna do is part D here in this picture. This is the zoomed in view. So we're going to work on the bevel, which is the little circle down in the middle left. So what we're going to do is add some shadow and add some light. But first, before we do that circle part, we have to add the light and shadow to the whole sphere. So we're going to do that first. I'm going to add a clip layer to this. I'm going to grab my um, soft brush, soft round, pick a color, and we're going to add that light there up on that top right side. I'm going for kind of a warmer light. So I'm, you can see me kind of searching for that brighter yellow kind of color there, and then maybe trying to add a little bit of a highlight on there. Um, we'll go back to the layers and maybe we'll take that layer. Double check the color, see if there's exactly what we want. And I think I'm going to make a new layer for the shadows and I'm going to push that. It's going to be on a multiply. And because the light is more yellowish, I'm going to go kind of more purple for the shadows. So I'm going to add it on. This is a little too intense. So I'm going to pull down that opacity um, on the brush. Just paint it in a little bit slower, a little bit easier on that bottom left side. So overall, I think I like that. I'm going to pull that um, opacity of the layers, the light and the shadow down just a little bit um, so that we still kind of see that light blue coming through. It's not just yellow and purple. Um, it kind of defeats the purpose. So then I'm going to go for kind of a pink side light or a kick light. So it took me a little while to get this to work the way I wanted it. Um, I think I went through a couple different versions of this before it really seemed like it was working. I think I changed the colors a few times to make sure that I get what I'm looking for. Um, also playing around with different modes for the blend. Um, I don't think I ended up sticking with like a screen mode. Um, kept playing around until I found something that I liked. Um, I think I stuck with overlay and you know, went ahead and kind of adjusted that to try and make it a little bit more reddish and a little bit more intense. And here we're making it a little more, um, a little lighter. So we're kind of playing with different versions of this over in that zone where I have the hue saturation um, group. So now that I've got those, I'm going to go through and I'm going to lock that in. Uh, I actually duplicated that layer and then I'm going to merge that down just so that it really stands out nicely. So I think that that's about it. Um, Maybe I'm trying to bring that intensity up just a little bit more. Change the blue underneath. So this is the base layer I'm playing with and the hue saturation and um, lightness. So kind of playing with all the different layers before we go through and group. So unlike the last one, this one's done in Photoshop. The last one I did in Procreate kind of bounced back and forth. If you remember the other two examples for A and B, those were done in class. Um, I do have some other videos that I'm going to kind of just throw in that have a little bit. I wanted to kind of blend out that edge. And so now I think I'm pretty happy with this color. I'm going to get just a little bit more of a highlight right along that edge where it's just a little bit brighter pink. And then I think we're getting close to the point where I'm going to jump over and start doing the bevel. I'm putting this into a group now really quick, just so that it has um, its own group for that light. 
and then I'm going to kind of like close that group so that the light is kind of locked in and then I can um, put those inside the group. There we go. And now when I add a layer, it's going to be on top of that group. I'm going to give that group a name, which is um, so let's zoom in and let's go ahead and start working on um, doing the next things to this. So oh, still adjusting things. Oh, I wanted to pop out that highlight, make it a little bit brighter white. There we go. And that kind of, I do think that made it a little bit stronger. So sometimes you don't remember all the things you do to just get it exactly how you want it. Just playing around with the opacity there. Looks like that's about where I wanted it. For all those just playing with that last level of opacity. Okay, looks good. Let's start doing the bevel. So I am going to grab the circular or oval marquee tool. It's the second one down in the top left. And if I hold down shift, um, it will make sure that it stays like a circle, which is what I want you to do. I've sampled that shadow color and then I have my soft brush and I'm starting to paint in that top right corner because so it's towards the light because I'm pretending like this is a little scoop. And then I sample the light side and I start to paint that in the bottom left. Almost like this is a little kind of like carved out bevel like a little dimple in the side of this sphere is what we're shooting for. So after I see this and I kind of build it up a little bit, I think about getting some darker values in there. Um, I think I start using a harder edged brush and I don't like the, how that edge kind of ends up feeling. And I tried to do a little bit of blending and use some different brushes. Um, I tried to use an eraser here at first, like a soft eraser to kind of move back towards what I have underneath, because this is all on its own layer, but it just didn't really work well. So um, I went back to the brush and I went back to the soft brush and it took me a while to kind of sample the right colors and kind of paint a nice gradation inside there. But you can see that there's a selection so inside that selection, it helps me so that I don't paint outside of that area. And you can hide any selection by holding down Control H. And then you can't actually see it for a little bit. I keep kind of fudging around, bigger brush, smaller brush, paint a little light, paint a little shadow, find a little color in between. I think here I'm pretty satisfied with how that looks, more or less. That is the effect we're looking for. And here's our final image. You can see the hole and the extrusion also, but the first step was the bevel. So I'll see you in the next video.